Ever since Just Cause 4 got announced, I was hoping that photo mode was gonna be making its way to the Just Cause franchise, and we're finally gonna see it in Just Cause 4. Fast forward to August of 2019, and I'm still waiting. <laughs> Avalanche, hey, hey boys, hey, <laughs> what's going on? Buddy daddy needs photo mode, uh, okay? Since we're still holding on to our butt cheeks for photo mode to be making its way into Just Cause 4, today I will show you a few workarounds of taking nice screenshots in Just Cause 4, essentially the stuff I've been using for taking pictures for my thumbnails. But before we begin, have you ever wanted to be shouted out in one of my videos? Well, now is your chance, Jimmy, so listen carefully, okay? Big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Amino. Amino is a free app that you can download on both Android and iOS. A platform for you to join communities you're passionate about and discuss it, share ideas and interact with like-minded people. I've actually been using Amino myself for the past few months, posting stories on the app. The cool thing about those stories is that you can view them whenever you want, which is really awesome. So Jimmy, you can go and watch them right now. Pretty great. So Jimmy, this is where you come in. I've posted a brand new Just Cause 4 story on Amino, so I want you to go download the app, go to my profile, watch the latest story I've posted. If you comment on it, I will choose one person at random and give you a shout out in my new video. So what are you waiting for, Jimmy? I will still be here when you come back. Uh, I mean, you know, just go away, come back and finish this video, okay? I'm, 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 I'm just gonna be hanging out here. I've got time. <laughs> You know, nothing, nothing weird about this. Just grow my Go download the app and comment on it. Come on. <laughs> I know you want to. All right, so let's just get stuck right into this. So the first tool I'm going to use is basically the sniper rifle. Some of you might have noticed that I always have a sniper rifle on my back, but I pretty much never use it. And when you zoom in with the sniper rifle, you can, of course, see the reticle. You can see the scope because, I mean, it is a sniper rifle after all. So what the hell did you expect, Jimmy? But essentially, there's a nice little workaround for taking screenshots using the sniper rifle in this game. And all you have to do is go into the options of this game just like that go into the gameplay and then scroll down until you see the HUD option and as you guys can see right now I've got hide button hints but essentially you can go through them until you find this hide all so that way everything is just gonna disappear from your screen so already this looks pretty good because you don't have anything on your screen that basically doesn't make it look nice okay it doesn't make it look screenshot worthy but without it, it does. Look at this. The landscapes of Solis are actually kind of gorgeous. But then what happens with the sniper rifle is that the entire reticle just disappears. As you guys can see, and now you can zoom in and have really nice shots of any sort of vehicles, landscapes, basically whatever you want to zoom in at. As you guys can see, there is a little bit of distortion around the edges, but if you've got an editing program like Photoshop or pretty much... Um, pretty sure any editing program you can slightly zoom in and that's basically gonna get rid of all of it so this is basically why I've been using to take screenshots of any sort of vehicles in this game because that way it gives you a lot more detail than you get from basically just being inside a vehicle and taking a screenshot like that obviously you have to sometimes get far away from the vehicle in order for there to be no distortion around the edges but that's pretty simple as you guys can see i mean this plane is looking gorgeous now i can take for example a snippet of that plane flying in the distance just like that maybe a bus if you would like look at this and then you take a nice little screenshot and you can share it with all of your friends that's right, Vadi Daddy provides. What's up, gamers? You can have a look at nice numbers. You can stare at the ground, which is very pixelated. You can also have a look at that plane in the distance. Or, for example, you can zoom in on the tower and make it look all gorgeous. Never knew that air traffic towers could be so gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just a really simple way of getting kind of up close and personal with a lot of the objects in Solis using one of the weapons. So obviously you need to have a sniper rifle in this game, but they are fairly easy to unlock. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. So this next one I actually found on Reddit and it basically allows you to take nice cinematic views of Solis, which is pretty goddamn spectacular. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to recreate it exactly. If not, I'm just gonna show you guys the video that played on Reddit, and it does look pretty goddamn impressive. All you need for this is a truck. That's all you need. 
it's that simple, boys. Obviously, I'm gonna spawn in a truck for this one, but essentially, as far as I can tell, you can use pretty much any vehicle you'd like as long as it has a flat front. Because what we're gonna do, right, is we're gonna jump in the truck, as you guys can see, and then we go into first person, and there it is. This is basically a shot without Rico in the picture, which is pretty spectacular. Sometimes it's gonna glitch out and you're gonna get the speedometer on the bottom right, but then all you have to do is go into the options once again, go into the gameplay, switch it to, for example, anything else, and then you switch it back to basically hide all. I think I have to actually exit before I can do that. Gameplay, hide, okay, exit, there you go, gameplay, and we hide them all. Perfect. Gorgeous. Stunning. So with this tool itself, as you guys can see already, you can make for some really cool shots by just going in first person. Or not necessarily first person, but kind of at the front of the vehicle. You know, you can line yourself up the way you want it. Ideally, you don't want to have a shadow in the picture because then that kind of ruins it. So you have to basically go against the sun. But if we, let's say, go up here, let's find something like here. A lot of destruction, right? There's just like a bunch of chaos here. I guess this bus must have crashed or something. And look, you can take a nice little screenshot here. You can get up close and personal to the citizens of Solis. He doesn't seem too amused about this. <laughs> That's right. He's just gonna continue to cross the road. What a bastard, honestly. So for this one, I've basically attached 10 boosters to this vehicle, to this truck. And all you have to do is essentially Make sure that this thing flies nicely. Not like this. This is not nice flying. Oh god. Yeah, this is gonna be difficult, this one. All according to plan, boys. This is all going according to plan. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ejected. <laughs> nice. Who knew that basically taking screenshots in Just Cause 4 is of course going to involve the cargo plane? Oh my god. It's like the entire world's economy. Okay, of this fictional universe basically revolves around the cargo plane. My goodness. All right, so that should do it. So now all we do is just drive out and essentially start flying with this thing however you want. So if you position it nicely, you're gonna have nice little cinematic shots, you know? You've got nice little sweeping shots now that you can make if you want for some sort of a cinematic or whatever you basically want to use this thing for. It is obviously a little bit tricky to control this flying truck, but that is basically one way of doing it. You can drop, obviously, out of cargo planes, stuff like that, and just make this thing fly. Do whatever you want with it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of impressing myself right now with how I'm able to control this so far. Look at this, do a nice flip, that's right, <laughs> and just keep going. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Look at that! It's starting to slowly plummet. But that is that nice looking shot. Oh god, shit, no. I didn't mean to do this, I'm sorry. I'm spinning out of control. Sorry about that. Yeah, I think this guy has done it so much better than I did. I am uh, kind of, you know, <laughs> making this thing look horrible. But he just made it look extremely easy. But that is essentially how you do it, boys. This is how you take nice pictures and nice screenshots in Just Cause 4. I hope that kind of helps you guys, you know, because it is sometimes difficult to take nice pictures in this game. So I thought, you know what, well, I'm gonna share some of these tips and tricks with you guys and hopefully make your life a little bit easier. Yes, look at this nice shot. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely beautiful. You can just really appreciate all the scenery and, you know, all the vegetation of this game. But anyway guys, that is gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys kind of found it helpful because you know, it is one of those things that I keep using all the time but I don't know how many people actually know about this. So hopefully you have learned something new and hopefully I helped you out a little bit. Uh, just let me know in the comments down below. And like I said, massive shout out to my sponsor Amino. If you guys want to be shouted out in my new video, then make sure you download the app, go to my profile, watch my new Just Cause story and comment on it. And essentially that way I'm gonna select one of you to be featured in my brand new video. But for now guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're gonna have a wonderful day and I shall see you guys next time. Take care, goodbye. Bye 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 bye.